Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks so much for popping in. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Things are going along okay. I know some of you have been struggling with health issues at the minute. So if you just need five minutes out and you're joining me just because you want a bit of a break from life, get yourself a nice drink, brew, I don't know, water, whatever drink you fancy. Do you know what? Treat yourself. Maybe a little snack and we'll just have a catch up. And while we're catching up, we're going to do a little bit of crafting and I'm going to create a design similar to this. So this is the card. And as always, I've stamped the envelope. And as you know me, I tend to do the bottom left hand corner just so that when I put my stamp on and I write the address, it all flows beautifully. Now today I'm going to be using watercolour card and this is the Lavinia watercolour card and I love the colour of this it's off white um, sort of a creamy it's a lovely it's only slightly textured it, it's beautiful enough to stamp on fabulous takes water really really well it's hot pressed and as I say that's what I'm going to be using and I know you want to ask me the size of the card is five inches square and that's purely because I just want to mat and layer onto black card and then it's on a six by six card blank. And again, I've gone for a cream just to bring in those beautiful creamy tones. I mean, look at those colours. Now, I am going to be using some of the new VersaFine Clear inks just because you've asked me about the colours. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Just grab a drink of water. You know what my naughty throat's like. Sorry, you know me well enough by now. Um, so I'm going to use a couple of the new colours. Now, I know this, they've sold out very quickly on the website. And by the time you watch this, I, I record them a couple of weeks early. I'm hoping they'll be back in stock. But if not, don't worry, we have got more on the way. So I'm thinking if I use them now, then you can decide which colours you like. So as soon as they are back in stock and we'll put posts on social media... So don't worry, we'll let everybody know, but then you can choose which colours. You know, some people want the whole range, some people want to pick and choose. That's fine. It's up to you. So today I'm going to team up. I've got Arctic, which is a lovely light blue, with Bally Blue. And I know a few of you said that's a firm favourite already. And Lilac Bloom. But I also want to show you how they go beautifully with Warm Breeze and nocturne now again a few of you've messaged me and said are they similar to colors we've got well yes they are but similar and i want to show you by the stamping so for example here the two colors that we think are very similar the bally blue and the warm breeze i've actually used them together just to show you the difference the warm breeze is this one here so i think they complement each other but like I say, you know, what I love about crafting is we all have choices. So this is the idea anyway. But also, I want to show you when we're thinking colours for me, it's all about teaming products and colours. So we're going to be using our dinkles. And in the dinkles, again, I've gone for a palette which I thought reminded me of the palette I'd chosen in my inks. So I've gone for sea blue. I'm actually going to add some porcelain just for a little white touch and then periwinkle and pink. Oh, now I know that says pink, but it's it is sort of a pinky purpley in, in my mind. So that's the way I'm going with that. So what we're going to do to start off with, we've got our piece of watercolour card here. And again, I just wanted to come in and show you something a little bit different. And what I want to do is with the black ink, which you watch I've merrily put at the bottom of that pile of my VersaFine Claire, I'm going to stamp the sentiment to start off with. And I'm going to put it roughly there. Now I'm using Birthday Wishes and this is from the Heartfelt Verses. Now on my original I put Just For You. But I'm being a bit cheeky here because I've got a friend whose birthday it is and I think this is going to make her birthday card. So that's why I've changed the sentiment. 
and I'm just going to give that a blot. So if you craft along with me, if you watch it and then watch on replay and craft along with me, I hope you're going to share your make when you've finished. Right, paper out of the way. And what I'm going to do is I've got some of our Lavinia low tack tape here. And I'm just going to use the grid on my craft mat. And I'm going to tape off where the sentiment is and above. Now I just want it, I'm thinking, there. And then I think one more piece and we'll just get that top. Just check if that's straight. Do you know what? I don't think that one's straight. Sorry. You know, even though I'm using the, this as a guide, isn't it funny what we like? Right, let's go for that. What do we think? Do we think that is? That looks better to me. What was it we used to say? Nothing that a man and a flying hat, horse wouldn't uh, put straight. So, next I'm just going to bring in, and again I'm reaching on the floor next to Eric. I've got myself, just because I don't want to get my dinkles on my craft mat. So I've just got myself a non-stick mat here. But I've got one of our petal palettes. And I've got some of the ink in already. So... And if I was clever, I'd have written down which ink I put where, wouldn't I? Now, again, I put um, little pins in the top. So I'm just going to take the pin out. Oh, that's a nice noise, isn't it? And just put a couple of little sprinkles, as it were. Now, I'm going to add my water like this, only because if I spray it, I have found it tends to spray everywhere, but that might just be me. So I've got the three colours in there. That's the pink. And then obviously that's the periwinkle and the sea blue is there. And this, I would tend to batch card make a few of these at once. And then that's ready for us to use. So again, I'm going to be very dangerous and put that down next to Eric. Because we're actually going to do our stamping first. But for those of you who want to get your dinkles ready... And beautiful for watercolour painting. So once you've got your palette, it's fabulous there just to use. So, fern heads. This is an older stamp and I haven't used it for a while. So I, just, I used it for a workshop recently and I thought, yes, I need to use that more. If you're not sure where you're going to put it, use your acetate. But at the minute, we've got a blank canvas, haven't we? So, and again, let's mix and match the colours. Let's come in with the lilac bloom for this. And we'll just pop one there. I love these. All the tiny little hairs, the leaves on the fronds. And if you've got ferns growing in your garden, you'll know when these come up how they look. And it's amazing how they uncurl. There is something magical about them. And I think we'll just put one here. And we'll pop the lid on that. Give that a bit of a wipe. So that was the fern heads. And next, I think we'll come in with the lovely wildflowers. And for this, we're going to come in with the ballet blue. And we'll pop one there. And then another one, I think, just coming off there. And overlapping, I love to have them overlapping. I'm going to give that a quick wipe because I want to put the warm breeze on top. And again, just to show you, I mean, obviously, if you're waiting for the stamps to come in, um, you know, use the colours you've already got. I mean, this would look beautiful with some of the yellows we've got and some of the summertime, the orange yellows and oranges we've got lots of browns and as i say for me look at that i think that warm breeze goes beautiful with that bally blue 
So for me, I think the colours do mix and match. I certainly wouldn't say any of them were replicated. I think it just adds more tones into your collection, obviously depending on how many tones you want. I mean, again, you know, have you got a birthday coming up? Always useful for new things, aren't they? That's what's always on my craft list, on my birthday list. Crafting things and things for the garden. Now this one, seed heads, an old favourite and I've not used it for a while. But I just want some stamping almost in black to bring to the front of the design. And also it'll tie in with the birthday wishes. Because we've got the sentiment in black, you'd really need black stamping somewhere else just to make it a fabulous cohesive design and this is really going to be my centerpiece i love these now again they would look good the seed heads in any color you want and if you remember there's the outline stamp as well this is lovely and you can color that in and you can mix and match they're a lovely set these Right, so one more into the little mix. I don't want to overcook it with too many different stamps. I'm just going to come in with the field grass. And this one I'm going to go in with the lightest of the colours, the Arctic. And we're almost going to have some, so it looks like they're in the distance. That's good, I put my hand straight in the ink pad. Let's just give that a wipe. Arctic fingers is what I've got there. <laughs> Oh, let's have a bit of second generation with that. And that'll give us lovely wispy field grass in the distance. Again, don't want to overcook it. Just blend those colours. And I like it higher at the sides, look. One more. I'm just in that gap there. But what I am going to do is clean my stamp again. Along the front... I just want to add a little bit more black here just to ground the whole design. And I often say this, if you're not sure about it, it's quite a good idea. Take a photograph at this stage on your, your phone or camera or whatever and then add some black stamping with the same stamp and then take a photograph of the two and compare them. And for me, this, A, it brings it to the forefront, so it'll push these other stamps further back. And as I say, we're not going to overcook it, just enough. Change angle, there we go. Enough so that, as I say, it gives us that lovely continuous design, grounds it a little and just gives us more perspective. Lovely little trick, that at the front. To use the colour and black with your same stamp. Right, let's pop that over there. Right, now for the fun bit. And what I'm going to do, just make sure that's stuck down. In fact, I'm just going to put that down there for a minute. Now the exciting bit. And again, I'm just stretching down. It's good for me to do this stretching, look. Back with our dinkles. Now, me being me, I like to get a piece of kitchen towel just to hold this down here. And what I've got in my water pot, I've got my lovely mop-up brush, and this is the small one. And I'm going to add some of my dinkles. And we'll go for the lovely pink first. And I'm just going to dot it at the bottom, look. Now remember, you're versifying clay, permanent ink, so it's not going to move. We'll come in with the periwinkle now. And again, I'm just dotting it. And I'm hoping my low-tack tape, it won't seep under. Do you know what? If it does, it's not the end of the world. But I'm hoping if I press it down, certainly worked with my other, but like I say, you never know, do you? And then just with another piece of kitchen roll, just going to dot it at the top just to take away. But it also just almost adds to a nice cloudy sky. 
and then I'm going to come in with the white and just add a couple of little peppery bits of white hold that down still and add and the porcelain just has a lovely effect right, I like that going to mop up the bottom because it's quite wet but I want that a bit deeper I'm just going to get my mop up brush again now you can play around with this literally adding colour if you want to add some more um, dinkles actually on top spritz them but I just like the way I'm just going to add a little bit of that around there I just like the way that you can play and just spend your time. You can move the puffer tool, move it round. And I love the way we get this background effect. If you want to bring in your fan brush, you can add that. And what I'll do, just to speed it up, I'm going to bring in my heat it up tool and we'll just speed it up. Now that, I definitely want a little bit darker at the bottom. So I'm just going to bring in a little bit more powder just in these corners. Let me just put my pin in there again. I love that noise. You watch, I'll have too much now. Just give it a bit of a... Oh yeah, it's better. Just down that bottom, I just wanted, I'm just going to drag that along. Just wanted it a bit deeper. But again, the beauty of this is you can play. You know, you decide how much colour you want. You can vary the amount of water you add. If you want to make that, let's just, I want to fuzzy the edge a bit more. So I'm going to spritz it and then come in. And just again, dab it off a little. And can you see how that fuzzes the edge? It's so controllable. So again, just going to come in. Oh, and that's lovely. Look at this. We've got some lovely pink bits in the sky. I must admit, I wasn't expecting that. Right. Let's mop that up a bit. So... At home, obviously I am at home, but I would batch card make these and let them dry naturally. Just because for me, I think they look better. But I'm just going to heat dry this one. Look at that on the back, lovely. Just so that you get an idea of how to finish it off. Your heat tool will just help that low tack tape I mean it, it, it doesn't stick it is so low tack it's beautiful but the heat tool will just um, help it peel off like butter anyway now as I say my get out clause if it's leaked under we don't mind phew look at that we're okay so and I just think that's lovely and I must admit, I've not seen anything like this before. And I love that way of stamping first, adding the colour. Right, we'll move this. And that dinkles in your um, pot will last. Obviously, as the water evaporates, um, it dries out a little. But I use it now. What I'm going to do with that is carry on, make some more backgrounds. But also, I've got some, um, I've stamped the beautiful Lilium. And I'm going to watercolour paint it. So it won't go to waste. Now, a few finishing tricks. We're just going to come in with the white Posca. Now you can use your white gel pen for this. But I just want to add just on that those black seed heads. I think they're crying out for those little highlights. And you know when I said about the white, the porcelain, can you see here? And it almost adds like pepper. So if you're somebody who doesn't like the white Posca splats, Look, 
your white porcelain can give that effect. Obviously, I want to add some white Posca as well because that's just me. But if you're not keen on the white Posca, obviously leave it off. I mean, the finishing tricks are up to you. If you want to add a circle mass for the moon, but I just like it without. A couple of little splats up there. And that's it, job done. But I just think that is so beautiful. And in the scheme of things, a quick card to make. And believe you me, you could make a few of these and no two will be the same. And that's the beauty of this. The way it all reacts, they will be slightly different. Alter the colours. So I'm hoping you like that design. As I say, I'm hoping it helps when you're looking at the new Versafine Claire colours. But if you haven't got them, use what you've got. Maybe look at different combinations of what you've got. But the main thing is, look at your permanent inks, your Versafine Claire, and see which dinkles they team up with. Because I love the way the colours just match. Do you know what? I think I might actually go and make another one. The fact that I've got more ink in my pot, I think I could be on a roll here. See? Batch card making. And you know what? I've loved it every minute of it also i love spending time with you and i am very appreciative of those of you that leave me a comment so thank you for that i don't always answer straight away i'm afraid but honestly i read them all so you take care i'll be popping again popping back again tomorrow need to get my thinking cap on think of something we can do together so you take care enjoy your evening or the rest of your day if you're watching this in the morning. As always, love and hugs from me. Bye for now.